Hey there, in this video we are going to see why STL was created, what was the need for it and what problem it solves. So let's say for example if we have a class ABC which contains this really awesome function with an awesome algorithm to it. And let's say there is another class which want to use this awesome function to make uh, use of its awesome algorithm. Okay. But this can only be done if we create a class object of ABC inside another class creating dependency. Worst, what if we like this awesome function to work on built-in types like arrays and other built-in types? The question is how? How about if we separate data from algorithms? How about create awesome function in a way where it can be used for any data type including user-defined types? Welcome STL. STL separates data from algorithms an iterator acts as a bridge between data and algorithm. So what STL is? STL is consists of containers which contain the data in form of data structures and iterators as well as algorithms which acts on iterators. So that's the way STL works and that's the reason for which STL was created. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching.